Hi, I'm JC. It's a Saturday morning and uh, I'm just cleaning the house and puttering around and came across a lasagna stain right here on my sofa. Now, fortunately, the red sauce of the lasagna and my orange sofa kind of match. So if I don't get the stain out completely, it's not the end of the world. But um, lasagna last weekend was spilled on my couch. I didn't know it. It wasn't me. I didn't do it. But I'm the one who has to take it out. So I thought that since I was going to be cleaning this anyway, I would go ahead and show you my Bissell Little Green. Um, I love this little guy. I haven't had it that long. I've only had it a year or two, but I use it for everything. Um, I have a cat. You've all seen Newton. Because I have a cat, <laughs> I use this a lot to clean up, uh, well, to be honest, the innards of things that he brings me from outside. That's another story. But um, today I am going to be using this to get this stain out and I thought you might want to see how it, how it works. So let's get started. This is the big stain, it's like crusted on lasagna that I'm going to be removing. So first thing I'm gonna do is, sounds obvious, but just take off the, ugh. Just pop off any big chunks that you can pop off. And then we will go fill up the little green and see what kind of uh, help it can do for us. Here's how this works. It's a very simple machine. The first time you purchase it, it comes with a, a cleaning solution. There's basically two tanks and this one you fill with your hot uh, water with the solution in it. Then you use the hose, flick it on, clean. I'll show you how to do that in just a second. All the dirty water ends up over here. When you're done, you dump the dirty water out. It's pretty straightforward. This is a trigger that sprays the solution out of this little hose right here and then it sucks it up here. You get the idea. So let me show you how you fill this up and how these pieces go together. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do is put water in the fresh water tank. When you take it off, it just lifts. And then you flip it, and you can see that there is the formula line. That's how much of the cleaner you're supposed to put in. And then there is the water fill line. So you put in the cleaning solution first, fill it up to the water line, and it all comes goes in through here. Let's put in our cleaning solution. So we got the solution up to about the line, give or take. And then you want to put in the hottest water that your particular cleaning will allow you to put in. So if you're doing a wool rug, probably not super, super hot water. I'm doing a cotton over there, it's twill, so I'm fine with hot water. Like so. It just mixes as it fills. Then you put the lid back on, like so. And then you flip it upside down and put it back into the machine. It's loaded and ready to go. We'll move it back over to the sofa, plug it in, and I'll show you how it works. Once it's full, I weighed it and uh, it's 12.6, so just over 12 and a half pounds when it's totally full of water. So that's the heaviest it will be in case um, weight is, a, is an issue for you. You're gonna see it's gonna be a little bit of a mess because this is a vertical surface, so rather than it kind of soaking in, it's gonna to wanna to just run down the side of this. It's just the way the fabric is. So I have myself a little tea towel here that I'm gonna to use to catch the water. Okay, some of the solvent is now on there and I'm gonna actually use the brush to try and release some of that. Mmm, tasty. Ugh. Okay, well, it appears that I got that stain out. I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of this sofa.
before I go dump the machine, I wanted to just quickly tell you that I measured and it looks like this size sofa, it absorbed 0.5 pounds, so half a pound of water. Some people really wonder how much water um, is absorbed and how much is extracted. So hopefully that helps. Okay, so I did the rest of the sofa just to be safe, as you saw, and I only used about half of the water. That's actually kind of a waste of solution. So it looks like if you're doing it, only make up about half of one of these for one sofa. It's to clean out the hose. It comes with this hydro rinse, which is basically, you just take off the, you stick this on the end, you start it and you hold it upright with whatever cleaning solution is left in the machine or clear water and it rinses the hose for you. Found if you have a lot of stuff caught in the folds of the hose when you're cleaning right here kind of wiggle the hose around and you'll see that it breaks them free all right you probably want to know how bad how dirty it was well you lift this and then you can get this out so this is how bad it was so here's how you clean it this just pours out and then you can remove the gasket at the bottom and you can clean and I recommend you do you clean it out because you're going to end up with like cat hair dust bunny stuff. I want to show you this is somewhat difficult to clean out. There's like dust and hair and things caught on that cylinder on the inside. Okay I got most of it out. It takes some shaking though so I would say a drawback of this machine is that this the dirty water tank is not particularly easy. The next piece that needs to be cleaned is this, the head where you ugh, did the, the scrubbing. And as again, you'll see there's bits of dust and cat hair and stuff. Yeah, there doesn't seem to be an easy way to get things that are lodged here on the side out. Of course, when you're done cleaning, make sure you dump out the fresh water tank that had the solution in it and rinse it. Okay, so takeaways. It's lightweight, it's relatively lightweight. It's really portable. It does a good job as you can see how much dirt it extracted from a appearingly clean, other than the lasagna, relatively clean um, sofa. So it does a good job. Not the easiest to clean. It's, re it's not too loud given what it is. It's, it works pretty well. It easily cleaned my love seat with half of a tank left. So it holds quite a bit. Um, but at this price point, it's easy to store, it's compact, it all fits together nicely. For the price point and the size, I think this is a pretty good buy. So, thanks so much for your time today. Appreciate it. Hanging around and cleaning with me on a Saturday morning. Um, take good care. Bye. Hey, buddy. You ready to come help me edit?